Hey everyone, and welcome back to our problem solving series for the problem that I posted on April 7th, 2020. So what we have in that drawing is we have a heptagon. It's a seven-sided regular polygon, and we want to find the area of that shape. So how are we going to do that? If you notice on the board, I only have a triangle here with the side length of four. That triangle is going to be one of the triangles that form the heptagon. So there's going to be seven of these. Because they're all regular, because it is regular, that means that this is going to be the same value, and these are going to be fours. So what we need to do is we need to find the area of this triangle, and if we can do that, we're just going to multiply this area by seven and find the entire area of the figure. So how do we go about that? Well, what we need to do is we need to find this angle right here. Now, keep in mind, there's seven of these. So if I was to draw seven of these triangles, they will make up the entire figure. And now all around it's gonna be 360 degrees. So all I really have to do is divide 360 degrees by seven. That's gonna give me 51.43. So now we know that the angle here Okay. Now, how do we go find, uh, how do we separate this? We're gonna draw a straight line here that is perpendicular to the base. Now what that's gonna do is that it's gonna cut this triangle in half, which is fine. So now we're gonna cut this angle in half and that's gonna give us 51.43 divided by two. That's gonna give us 25. Because this is 90, this is 25.72, I can easily find the remaining angle by getting 25 that's going to give us 64.27. Alright, now let's focus on this angle right here. If this is our angle focus, that's going to be our opposite, this height right here. This is going to be our adjacent and that's going to be our hypothesis. So let's go ahead and find this value of h. We can use Sopatoa and put sine of 64.27 is going to be equal to our opposite over our hypotenuse. How do we solve for h? Let's go ahead and multiply for the other side. We get 4 times sine of 64.27 is equal to the height. So let's go ahead and find that. Luckily for us, we have a nice calculator here. We know the height, we know that's going to be 3.6. Now how do we find this value right here? We can still use Sokotoa, or keep in mind that since this is a 90 degree angle, we have a right triangle, we can also use the Pythagorean theorem. So 4 squared, which is our hypotenuse, is equal to 3.6 squared plus x squared. This will be our x right here, our adjacent. Let's go ahead and subtract the 12.96 to the other side. That's going to give us 3.4 is equal to x squared. Now we take the square root of that. That's going to give us 1.74, which is equal to x. So we know this value is 1.74, meaning that if this is 1.74, this is also equal to 1.74. That means that our entire base is going to be equal to 1.74 plus 1.74. How is that? Okay, so now we have all the values needed to find the area of this triangle. How do you find the area of a triangle? One half the base times the height. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and find the area of this. I'm just going to put the area of the triangle is equal to 1 half times the base, which is 3.48, times the height, which is 3.6. That's going to give us 48 times 3.6. Time multiplied by 40.5. It's not good. Not good at all. Now, 
keep in mind, this is just the area for one of the triangles. But because it says a heptagon, we need to multiply this value by 7. So 7 times the area of the triangle is going to equal to the total area. We'll call that just capital A. And we get... Now, let's talk about a couple things here. There's so many different methods that you could use. A lot of students will continue to use Sokotoa to find, uh, solve the adjacent value here. I use the Pythagorean theorem because I wanted to utilize two different methods here. Okay, but we need to know, one, how to find these angles. So we need to know angle relationships. We need to know our Sokotoa, that's a given. And we need to know how to find the area of the triangle. And of course, that's one half base times height. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you soon.